did it to me. He did that thing where he pretends to say, hello, evolutionary energy arts. Welcome back. And then he just handed me the thing. He does that, you know. Because I got all tongue twisted at, when I first tried to do it. And so, you know, it's because, uh, you know, maybe a little flustered uh, because it's like I know exactly what's going on here. I know most of you guys know exactly what's going on here. Yet we, we don't have all the world understanding exactly what's going on here or we wouldn't have the situation uh, still kind of spiraling out of control. But it is heartening that when I look to comments uh, on things that have been put out there by the power structure and I'm opening up and looking down in the comments like the uh, let's I'm going to jumble these letters. Uh, DCC, right? Uh, telling you it's a seasonal thing. It's time to go do something. Uh huh. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, right? And then I look at the comments, and I went down through like 30 comments. I didn't see one positive comment. Not one. A every single one of them was cynical or outright irritated, mad, telling them to bleep off. Oh, well, that's good. The The system is being exposed, as we were talking about here. This was on Patreon only. And uh, I think I, I'm, I'm really happy with this video because, you know, we also talked about not just what the system is doing, but how to, you know, guard your health. You know, and there's different ways that you can do that. You can definitely uh, boost your immune system. You can obviously avoid certain things. As you know, we've had some of our family members reaching out and saying, "I, I saw your you know video yesterday, and, and and I'm in New Zealand, and I can verify there's there's a lot of people that are no longer with us." I know, and that's so sad. I mean, we've had so many. We worked on so many people who have loved ones that are no longer with them, or have had things happen to them personally. It is just it's really thick, you know as far as the effects and they're they're thick and they're really out there you know it's it's something that can no longer be ignored but then there's still this uh upper layer of entities that because they are very comfortable and because they are continuing to receive uh money for certain things they they just continue on with the narrative but they definitely do not do what <laughs> what they're telling everyone else to do so that's our problem it's about that other structure and still at some level we are holding that other structure up so we still have to look at ourselves and and do what we can to take responsibility for that there's more to be done so much more to be done and yet we're we're all kind of bracing for for the big explosion that we know is coming and i do want to encourage everybody if you haven't subscribed yet and for all i know you might have <laughs> because again uh this is hearts home this is our our newest channel we were talking about ascension and technology how to tell the good ets from the bad ets and also interdimensional beings as well because if we make it through this period, make it through this war period, we will be seeing ETs. It, uh, you know, that whole disclosure thing will be a thing of the past. Uh, it's just how they unravel it all for us and how they put their spin on it. And again, encourage everybody to uh, join us at Hearts Home. Make sure you're subscribed over there. Join us at Patreon where every single video goes up. And, you know, this is uh, somebody talking about losing their dad and their dad was found dead today sorting things out he had been dead a few days and there were certain things written in his diary and you know this person texas Lindsay, says she verified this as she must have known this person but you know again gosh uh, i could tell you of so many cases we know this we understand this because we have so many people that have told us the same thing you know, when you look through history and you see uh, things that should shake your faith in government, period, like Operation Northwoods, and there's so many of these, and I say this because somebody said yesterday in comments, um, well, shouldn't Israel be allowed to defend itself? Where again, 
you're just looking at things from a normal perspective uh, and not realizing that the whole situation is completely manufactured. And, you know, again, they just want you picking a side. They don't care which side. They just want you picking a side because then you won't be looking beyond the obvious. Uh, Operation Northwoods was all about, and it's admitted it's declassified, it was all about, hey, a false flag. And so we, we know that term. False flags are real. And again, we understand that the term conspiracy theory was actually coined uh, by the alphabet soups, which again, do not work for us. MI5, MI6 only reported basically to the crown. And by the way, that letter Q, that, that traces back to the, well, you know that rock band? There was a great rock band. Freddie Mercury headed it. Uh, quite a singer. He unfortunately died uh, prematurely. Well, that's what Q references. It's, it's a crown thing. Yeah, uh, you know, again, this is all, it, it, there's PSYOP after PSYOP after PSYOP after PSYOP. Between the years of 45 and 47, researchers at Vanderbilt University conducted a twisted experiment in which hundreds of pregnant women were exposed to radiation intentionally for the purpose of testing how it affects both mother and child. The study was funded by the U.S. Public Health Service. So in other words, they used our taxpayer dollars, our work, our blood, sweat effort, to run a test where they basically uh, put radiation into pregnant women and their babies. And this is, this is just insane. It sounds insane, does it not? All the women were poor, had no knowledge of the experiment, never informed that they were part of a study. At the Tennessee Clinic, 829 pregnant women served radioactive iron as part of their regular treatment. These young women came to the clinic thinking they were getting vitamins to drink and this would help their babies. And in fact, what was being studied was how fast the radio iodine crossed into the placenta. At least seven of the babies later died from cancers and leukemia. And women themselves experienced rashes, bruises, anemia, loss of hair and teeth, and cancer. Very strange cancers at young ages. Uh, yeah, I interesting, you know, plutonium files, how the U.S. secretly fed radioactivity to thousands of Americans. Sh couldn't, shouldn't be a surprise. How about Tuskegee Airmen? How about Operation Sea Spray over San Francisco, releasing you know, bacteria that did take another life? Th these are all things that your tax dollars get spent on, and we could go on and on and on. We've talked about the obvious weather control. Operation Popeye over in Vietnam washed entire villages away, controlling the weather over 50 years ago. And now we see storms that are stronger than ever. This is so obvious. This is all so obvious. There were Senate hearings. You know, this, this goes on and on and on. And people trust blindly. But hey, yeah, people trusted uh, Hitler, Pe people trusted uh, Pol Pot, people trusted Stalin to make things better, Tr people trusted Mao, people trusted 45 and 46. You know, these are all just actors. They're all actors. And I know, boy, that really hits some people because they got to hold out hope that one of them's for real. There's nothing in the system that's for real besides the death and destruction it brings. Uh, no, I, I mean the, the, the white hats they speak of and the black hats they speak of and the deep state they speak of. It's just every little point has a purpose and that's just to keep peddling the same the same narrative and the same story and, and to get people to not take things into their own hand. I mean, if we knew that we knew that we knew uh, that really there's no one from the government is going to come galloping to save us, they're not even out there to attempt to save us. Don't you think people would be a lot more self-sufficient if they knew that they knew that they knew and there was no doubt? Well, I'm telling you, there's nobody good in the government. They are not coming to help us. And that's really, really harsh words because we, who, who doesn't want to hold out hope? But turn that hope from external, turn it to internal. Work on yourself. Work on your home. Work through your family. Get yourself self-sufficient. This is so, so very important. And, and another thing that makes me so sad when we see a lot of these um, experiments and these women were not, were not told 
um, they they tend to prey on the poor, those that need, those that need help, and even uh, women who have children and say they need WIC. You know that program WIC. Maybe you guys have heard of it. Uh, they do subsidies. They give you milk and cheese and stuff like that to help supplement your children, and in certain cases, formula. But what they also want you to do is do that thing give give your children all their cures you know which is really really sad because if you don't give your children all the cures you're not going to get any food so they hold that over the head okay if you want help you're either going to do this or you're going to starve and that's the type of people that stand up and say here we're 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 doing a good thing we're helping you we're giving you free food are they so you know for the person that said should uh, Israel not be allowed to defend themselves. The reality is at the biggest, top, highest levels, like I assure you, Netanyahu understands the big picture. He totally understands the big picture. And at the top levels on the other side, they understand the big picture too. But the average person doesn't. And yeah, what they're doing is creating the conditions to remove uh, quickly from the planet. You know, five, six hundred million to a billion people very, very quickly. They need the distraction. They need exactly here. Terrorism is the best political weapon for nothing drives people harder than the fear of sudden death. Adolf Hitler. Absolutely. So instead of being irritated over what happened and and really focusing on the on all those alphabet soups that caused uh, what you know, happened with, uh, let's see, how do we say this? You know, the plague upon the land and, and the resulting cure, which now people are, are getting wise to. Now people are going to be just occupied with keeping alive. You know, it, we go back throughout time and, it's, and we just see one false flag after another. You know, there's so many times that nations will even uh, sacrifice their own citizens in these things knowingly. They, they don't mind. You know, again, look back to kings and queens. Look back to knowingly sacrificing the peasants, you know, the foot soldiers out just to draw out some uh, higher value opponents knowingly gladly sacrificing peasants because peasants don't mean anything to them and average citizens don't mean anything to any of the politicians you know we we couldn't cover all the false flags that have happened throughout time in in a video it'd be too far too long and so we we watch what they're giving us and we understand that they're giving us all this with a purpose as you see the u.s safely terminated an unarmed U.S. Air Force Minimum 3 ICBM over the Pacific Ocean. Russian sabotage and other options during a test launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base, California, are under investigation. We saw other signs. Remember uh, that missing Air Force jet fighter plane? And, you know, oh, it crashed. And, you know, Cindy picked up, no, she could, she could remote view it and see it safely tucked away somewhere. That was a test, you know, to see if China could uh, activate the chips in uh, the Air Force jets and take over uh, piloting the jets against the pilot's uh, will. We've been so set up. You know, the U.S. and NATO have been determined to lose the, the coming battle. They're doing everything they can to make sure of that because, again, in in China, uh, for instance, it, people don't have even the semblance of freedoms like we do in the U.S., and that is an issue. Australia is going to deploy troops, RAF, uh, RAAF aircraft to the Middle East, urges citizens to leave the Middle East before it's too late. You know, Australia is a massive landmass with very few people. And it is one of the spots that China has uh, come out and said back in that 2005 speech, well, you know, Taiwan's meaningless. We need to control like all of Australia, all of Canada, all of the U.S. if we're to feed our citizens or all three. Taiwan is nothing. Taiwan is nothing. Once the U.S. is out of the way, 
then we'll take Taiwan at our leisure. And this is exactly what you have now. You know, again, they're sending um, as much of our forces away from us. They need to send them away. So we're even more vulnerable, even more open. Putin revokes Russia's ratification of nuclear test ban treaty. Uh, you know, they may very well make it look like uh, there has been a nuclear strike and they may very well block off whole, whole cities and whole areas saying you can't go in for fear of radiation. Meanwhile, uh, they will be rolling uh, forward with their plans to herd everybody into the smart cities. U.S. warships in the Red Sea, all prime targets for pro-Iranian forces. Yeah, and Russian and Chinese. And, and we could keep adding, you know, North Korea and Iran and Yemen. And, and we could just keep adding the list of nations to it. Yeah, the U.S. fleet is being set up to be a sitting duck. And when the U.S. fleet is wiped out in the Mediterranean and in this area, um, it'll become more understandable in the minds of, a, uh, of NATO citizens that we're in, in trouble here. And this is Thomas Massey, U.S. representative from Kentucky. This is part of the White House document that says to use all means necessary to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. They're aligned with China. They're aligned with Russia. Russia has more nuclear weapons than anybody. So the thought of attacking Iran directly to keep them from obtaining a nuclear weapon you know, logically is really, really stupid. But then again, they're banking on the average intelligence of the average person being really, really low. And the attention span being even smaller. This is what they bank on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they send us through indoctrination school to <laughs> make sure that we don't think out of the box, make sure that we don't use our own intuition to resolve things for ourselves. Our intuition is, is the most important aspect of us. It, it goes hand in hand with our belief system. So once they create the belief system and they control the intuition, they they really, they have us in the palm of our hand unless we are able to wake up and then look at all the things that they do to make sure that we don't wake up. The food they feed us, the medicine they give us, you know, uh, make sure you get your fluoride so your teeth are okay. Uh, uh, it just goes on and on and it makes me sad, but we have to wake up one person at a time. We can't go any faster than that. And that's what nature intended, but uh, we all have a part to play. And thank you guys that watch us every single day. Yes. We love you and appreciate you. And, you know, uh, Cindy does tell me uh, that the guides say that it's good to be redundant. And because there are people that come in and, and are obviously just ans asking these obvious questions. And we have to reiterate again and again how this is all completely scripted. Oh, my gosh. You know, how, you know, how could this possibly be happening? Because it's all planned. It's just that simple. Here is the Yemeni. Um, Ansar Allah movement, the Houthis publishing a poster, your armies will sink. Well, your navies, technically armies on land, guys, come on, you know, but hey, it's okay. We get your point. We get your point. Yeah. And, and again, even Nostradamus, who himself worked under who? Nostradamus, yes, he was a gifted, definitely a gifted seer. That's why they recruited him. Who recruited him? The royals. The system recruited him. He worked for the church. He worked for the crown. And so he was giving also things to plant seeds uh, in, into our consciousness to help us manifest these things. Now, then why would we talk about it? Because, you know, we are talking to a couple thousand people and trying to wake more and more people up to the fact that this is all pre-programmed. And if we understand it's pre-programmed, we could start using our own consciousness to expose the system and stop the programming. Because if we don't understand that this is all pre-programmed, then we're just going to help to manifest it. Like if you think it's the will of God that this happens, there you go. You know, well, what can I do? It's the will of God. No, it's not the will of God. It's the will of these guys and, and these guys' controllers as we look at... Uh, the Saudi prince inclined towards Persia, as Nostradamus described him. Or uh, Jordan and Saudi Arabia informed Yemen that they will not allow the airspace to be used against Israel. 
On the other hand, these two countries have given the green light for Israeli warplanes to use their airspace, including for attacks on Yemen. You know, again, they they know their positions. They do what they're told. Well, they're heads of state. Yeah, they're again, they're just talking heads. They're puppets. Tank production grows sevenfold in Russia. Sevenfold. We don't have anywhere near the production capabilities um, that that we used to have, like in World War II. It's all in China and and in Indonesia and in many other places across the globe. This is, again, part of what they did early on to make sure that NATO will uh, be defeated by uh, the BRICS nations. And it, it should be no surprise because they, they just move their, their seat of operations and shift it. It always seems like the, they're heading off towards the sunset, so to speak. This, this again, should not be a surprise. Actually, uh, there was recently a, a new military power survey that was done, and they put Russia in the number one spot, the U.S. in number two, and China in number three. The U.S. has always been number one. And there was a lot of comments by people saying, you know, Russia, number one? Are you insane? Look at they can't even take on Ukraine. That's been a... Bl- this, this has all been part of the plan. They... It, it's it's again it's the art of war you know make it look like you're having a problem when in reality all you did is you're waiting because you have much bigger uh, fish to fry mm-hmm. you know and, and in some ways even though i know the plan i <laughs> uh everybody has a hopeful process in their mind and and i think well maybe the united states they are just pretending to be weak and Maybe we are really strong, but, you know, you go back far enough in history and you can see how they click the dial and it's very methodical and it's very deliberate and this is what we have. So at least we have that. I mean, we can look back and and we can make a good, good guesstimate based on what they continue to do to help um, solidify our position and, and help ourselves and help other people. So... That's that's what we that's what where our energy I think is best spent. And here you have the U.S. deploying Patriot missile s- defense systems in Israel, Saudi Arabia. Now again, Saudi Arabia just is, they asked to be part of BRICS. They asked to be part of BRICS, and here we are. You know, right now they're they're playing uh, nice, so to speak, and they're they're letting Israel go ahead and use their airspace. They're not letting Yemen, but at the same time. They're going to get uh, weaponry in. And then at some point in time uh, with Iran and the rest of the Islamic nations, they're going to unify and head into Europe, not just Israel. Israel's just, uh, it's just, Israel's already uh, slated for basically being pushed into the sea. Uh, China's already removed the name from maps. And so, you know, again, this is just part of something much, much bigger. And again, Christians and and maybe others will take solace and say, this is the book of Ezekiel. And, and so this, this is Ezekiel 38. And, you know, hey, God's going to intervene and Israel's going to be okay. Well, you know, again, many people believe that God brought Israel back into existence and maybe used the Rothschilds to do it. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, again, that's 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 not the creator of this universe. That's exactly the draconian energy that we've been talking about behind the scenes. Ali Khamenei has called on Muslim countries to stop supplying Israel with oil and food. Again, why aren't things moving faster and just go boom? It, it's all timing. They have everything planned down to a T because this is a much bigger uh, shift. This is, after all, this is uh, the big one. This is the big, um, let's see, I don't want to use that word, um, you know, our, our, you know, <laughs> what Klaus is always saying, you know, and that is basically bringing the population back down to Georgia Guidestones, you know, and, and making it much more manageable because they've already told us homo sapiens sapiens uh time is done uh they they need something more manageable when we look to homo sapiens sapiens and in our current form you know if it 
popped up into existence around uh, 250,000 years ago. The precession of the equinoxes takes 25,900 and something years, I think 20, uh, to complete a precession of the equinoxes. The cycle of the yugas basically is roughly 12,000 um, descending, 12,000 ascending. It correlates to the, to the precession of the equinox. So, the, and what is the procession of the equinox for those that don't know? It, it's basically how our, our sun, which is a star, travels around its central star. And so it takes us through these different areas which have different energies affecting us. And again, uh, it's been said that, that millionaires follow astrology and billionaires follow Vedic astrology because, again, the positions of the suns, the planets, uh, the stars, it's, it's all part of the programming of this matrix, the original programming of the matrix. And it does have effect. Now, how do we know the U.S. is in for a downfall? Well, the, it's in for a remaking. It doesn't necessarily have to be Um, a negative event, so to speak, but the Pluto return, which, you know, again, 222-2022, you know, again, any coincidence there, too, is all about, you know, duality and and everything as well, and that happened to be the, the timing of the Pluto return, which we're still going through. That means that Pluto is in the same place as when the Declaration of Independence was signed, and when that happens things are made anew now the programmers of this dark matrix understand that they also understand the eclipses energy and they actually uh, manipulate that energy very very well to bring about chaos of a negative sort but it could be positive and and that's the thing if if humanity was not being interfered with right now we would be just amazed at how everything is getting better And it's hard to imagine that, but that would be the case if it wasn't for the dark power structure that runs this planet. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's the darkness and then there's duality. So I see the things to be very, very different. Um, There's a way to utilize duality to create a certain level of suffering that that's not natural. I mean, expansion is what we are looking for expansion 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 not not suffering so that these other entities that we cannot see and the jinn they come and they they feed off human suffering and that's so so extremely disturbing you know the parasitic world is not native to this world the parasitic world is something that has come in through artificial means and i think that's where we decipher the differences like what is duality and what is parasitic there's a certain symbiotic nature that's how things should be you know when 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 the seasons go through right now mother earth has made made use of these seasons even though she was thrown out of balance but she utilizes the seasons now for a death and a rebirth and with every rebirth things get brighter stronger better and that's the natural duality that we are looking for not the parasitic duality three Mediterranean fruit flies, which lay eggs that hatch into maggots inside fruit, were discovered in Los Angeles neighborhood in October. Three, so officials plan to halt population growth by dropping millions of sterile male flies uh, that probably have been, obviously, genetically altered with what? That's the question. So if you see something weird uh, developing in Los Angeles, some strange illnesses, you might have a clue why. Uh, again, this is the system. They they give us this information, and they just think that we're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Thailand's central bank proposes ditching dollars in trade. The regulars called for the use of local currencies to mitigate the U.S. Current, uh, currency's current volatility. Well, the U.S. currency will be worth a TP uh, in the future, Probably, I guarantee you, by 2025, you know, because this is, again, one of those uh, key years, key years. 
Um, it's interesting too, though, that you see in August, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand signed a tripartite agreement to promote the use of local currencies and bilateral transactions. And so they even cut down the use of um, the dollar, the euro, and the yen and the pound sterling. So that was curious. And, and that hit me as uh, a positive. Anything we can do to inverse uh, this tendency towards CBDC and nothing else is good. And again, you know, the power structure is losing control of the uh, health narrative. Let's just say that they're losing control of the climate change narrative. Too many people have wakened up to that as well. And we understand that it's all heading towards this, this carbon based system with the big purpose of them controlling all the resources. They're losing all these narratives. You know, people are waking up, um, a little too quickly you know again everything is melting but snow cover in the lower 48 is at record levels as november starts we're 35 degrees below normal and you know texas has had some real extremes as had so many other states 30 35 degrees below normal is is kind of shocking but this is what they're doing is is it, it is truly weather warfare why are they doing that because again they don't want us being able to provide food for ourselves as you see more meteorologists saying things like this is unheard of such large hail in november in this part of europe tornadoes we've been talking about this storm uh, Kiaren, which is is currently battering uh, Europe, and you know there's all sorts of depictions of of craziness with this storm, and this totally looked manufactured, absolutely looks and feels manufactured. Yeah, you know, again, Monkey Works was uh, showing uh, just how volatile it is, and and was questioning whether there's going to be uh, flights that are going to be able to handle going through this without. Everybody getting nauseous from all the, you know, bumping around. And over here, we have a triangle hovering in Peru in the area where we've had all those attacks. Now, w many of you, and, and we have seen triangles multiple times. My first real clear v uh, view of one was, was back uh, in 98. And uh, we watched it for like 20 something minutes in Connecticut, go over Charles Island off the coast of Milford and then head over towards New Haven. And we were watching beams come out of the center of it. And it was really slow. It was going very slow. It was huge. About two football fields across is what it seemed to be. And it seemed to only be about a couple hundred feet off the ground. And it was like it was scanning houses. And I do think it probably was scanning houses. They look, and, and you know, the more I, that we add to this video, the more I get nervous that this needs to be a Patreon-only video. Um, they look to see who has activated light bodies because this is what they're terrified of. They're terrified of humans awakening. 97% of our DNA has been basically turned off or inactivated it's still there now the light from the sun is activating that dna and we are discovering uh latent abilities that were turned off by the controllers and have been continually um being assaulted by all forms of toxins constantly the sun and this is the number one reason why you see those funny clouds in the sky the sun is the conduit from the real creator, the actual real creator, not Yahweh, not, not the Anunnaki, not Allah, which again, in some translations, just translates back to Elohim. No, the, the sun is a real relay from the original programming of the natural matrix, and it's turning on our DNA. And so, you know, that is the thing they fear more than anything. That's the number one reason for them plastering the skies. Everything else is secondary. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was watching that, um, watching that thing, that, that energy felt really nasty. And it just felt like a, um, something like 
two different entities coming together, but it still feels like a little bit of a rogue force. You know, that videotape that they took it has a very jagged type of energy, something that, that just was very uncomfortable. So I do think humans coming in contact with that would, would feel very uncomfortable if they were in close proximity. Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, the reality is uh, the politicians of this world do work with draconian uh, forces, and, and some of our military work hand-in-hand hand with reptilians and, and other species out there. I was really impressed with all you guys that got Captain and Neil. I mean, I, I was so impressed. I, can't, I, I, I really didn't think there would be that many that would get it, but so many people got that. So how many of you guys can remember this far back? I remember this far back. Can you name... Uh, this character and can you name the actress oh I know there's going to be a lot of people that get the character and which show it was from uh, but how about the actress that's a tough tough one isn't it you know the big awakening is is upon us and yeah we have to look in very dark places sometimes and it might not be pleasant no it might not smell too good either yeah, but we somebody's got to do it. Somebody's yeah. got to flash light into the, the darkness. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you guys for being on this journey. I know it's scary at times. And, you know, it reminds me of being a little kid and making forts, pushing chairs uh, together and putting blankets over chairs and, and going and hiding in them like I'm in my own little cave or my own little world. Yeah, it could be scary to come out and, and, and see what's really out there. But we appreciate you guys being here with us for this ride. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.